I'm Amanda, and today we'll be learning about studio sessions, inviting new team members, and how to demonstrate a session report. Welcome to Bluebeam University. Studio Sessions is a powerful cloud-based collaboration tool in Bluebeam Review that allows project partners to digitally work together on the same documents at the same time while keeping track of all changes made to your project. With Studio Sessions, you can easily mark up and edit documents together in real time, no matter where you're located, ensuring that your team is always on the same page. To create a new session, click the Studio icon in Panel Access, then click the Session icon. If using Review 20 or older, you will need to first log in. Click the Add button and select New Session. Name the session and add the files you'll be working with. You can set your options, including basic permissions of the attendees. Restrict attendees by email is checked by default, and you can also set an expiration date if needed. Click OK. An ID will be assigned to the session, which can be found on top of the sessions panel. When your session opens, you'll be prompted to send invites to other users. From there, you can add the emails of users you want to invite directly. Add the emails of your session partners by clicking type or paste emails. Then include a message in the email if you want by clicking add message. And finally, click invite participants. As the administrator, you will find all of the guests that have been invited to your session, including those who haven't joined yet, under the attendees pane. If you need to add more guests, click the invite icon. You can also set more in-depth permissions to ensure the security of the session. Click on the session settings icon. From here, you can edit the session title, user access, and permissions. Under Permissions, Attendees is a default group that contains all added users except for the creator of the session. You can add single users for individualized permissions or add them to a group using the group settings, then adding the entire group to the permission list. Click the user or group to bring up Apply Permissions. Click on each item to change the permission to Allow or Deny. Your uploaded files are kept in the Documents section. You can add more files by clicking the Add File icon or adjust how they are listed. Note that if you don't give permission to upload files to your guests, they will not see this icon. The Records list keeps a record of every action done by each member in the session in the order the actions are taken. Click on a markup record to jump to that markup in the main workspace. When you place a markup, you can alert a member to the markup by right-clicking it and selecting Alert Attendee. Use the chat box to add comments to the records list. Click the filter icon to specify which records you want to see at a time. You can also see what an attendee is doing in real time by following them. Right-click their name under the Attendees section and click Follow. At any point during a session, you can generate a session report and save it to your computer. This way, you'll have a record you can append to a file or share with other team members and ensure additional accountability for the collaboration session. Click the Summary icon, then choose which type of report to build. You can also select any other relevant options. Click OK to generate the report. You can also create a report when the session ends. If you want to close the session but want to come back to it later, click Leave Session. To complete the session entirely for all users, click Finish Session. This will allow you to close out and choose options for saving the files and cannot be undone. Review will prompt you to save the files and markups as well as generate a report. Click OK to finish the session. Thanks for watching today. To learn more, visit university.bluebeam.com.